this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today, in this video, I am going to be joined by... Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, goodbye. <laughs> well, that was a little short visit from Lee, and he's back again. Oh, I think he forgot his sword. <laughs> How are you doing today, Lee? If you are doing good today, Look directly up in the air, and then spin in a circle while crouching up and down. <laughs> no, that was a lot of directions. There we go, he's feeling good today! <laughs> Your head seems to be on a little bit backwards. There we go, it's corrected itself. <laughs> you might have some, some neck pain if you do that a little bit too often. Anyway, you might have neck pain. I want to have jaw pain because I want my breakfast. And I'm going to eat it down as absolute quick as I can. You ready? What I want you to do, Lee, is spin in one circle. And by the time you get back, that cake is going to be gone. Ready, steady, go. <gasps> Nom, 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 Oh, did I do it? There we go. I, I think you were nice and span around twice. <laughs> you were nice and span twice. <laughs> oh, dear. Now I'm happy. Thank you, Lee. Right, let's go outside and let's play the uh, the fishing rod game then, shall we? And it looks like Esther's laid an egg. Let's go and plop that down there. And uh, Lee, you can go first. Which one are you going for? He's going for the yellow one yet again. It's like the competition. Who's going to get their one first? Lee always goes for the yellow one. And I always go for the red one. And we both keep getting ridiculously close, uh, but still both keep failing. And... Oh, no. Not one of your best, Lee. Not one of your best. It doesn't matter, though. Right, let me go and try and get this red one if I aim about here. Oh, I think that might be a bit too short, maybe. Yeah, a little bit too short. Are we ever going to get those... Are we ever going to be able to make it? I think we will. Let's, let's both, seeing as we both failed, should we just have another go? Should we just cheat? No, no one's looking, are they? You won't tell anyone, will you, chicken? You're going to keep this to yourself. You're not going to tell anyone that we cheated. <laughs> let's just go and have another go and uh, see if we can do better this go. Lee's lined it up and it's looking... <gasps> oh, I was a little bit wide there. It was a little bit too far to the right. Right, let me go and line it back up with this one. I want to go a little bit further forward, I think. Oh, that looks better. That looks very good, actually. That looks... Nope. <laughs> too short yet again. Right, forget it. Forget it. We'll be here all day if we keep giving ourselves extra goes. And it looks like, it looks like I got an egg as well. Let's keep that uh, at hand with me just in case I, I need to have an omelette or something later. And let's go and head over to my love garden, which is... Uh... Oh, why is there... Why is there a chest open? Who's been leaving their chests open? God, you've got to shut them or everything's going to fall out. <laughs> typical. Typical. Anyway, let's go and head over to my love garden and see who I'm adding today. Uh, today to my love garden, I am going to be adding... Salem Jameson and uh, that's because his wall is probably the best wall I have ever seen he's decorated all of it uh, to make it look like Minecraft and it's got me there and squid and we both got diamond swords and I of course have a cake <laughs> and uh, I think it's absolutely amazing and I must admit I am rather jealous because I want my room like that so yeah thank you for sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden and uh, if you want to get added to my love garden I always say there's no reason uh, to get added. Uh, you've got to kind of give me a reason, uh, but the only rule is you're not allowed to be asked. Uh, no, you're not allowed to ask, sorry, <laughs> to be uh, added to the love garden, otherwise I don't let you win. Uh, anyway, let's go to the uh, the doghouse, shall we? And uh, let's decide who is going to be joining me uh, in today's video. And oh, they're all still a bit growly, I think. Uh, let's be let's be joined by Flippy. And where's Flippy? Oh, it seems a bit empty in here, actually. Who's this hide Who's this embarrassed dog down here? I think is this Flippy? It looks like Flippy, but I'm not sure until I see the collar. Let's just assume that is Flippy, and then I'm going to turn around a little bit later on and see who's following me, and we can see which dog it is. Oh, it looks like they're not even following me. And it, it is Flippy. There we go. I was able to, to guess right. And uh, what we're going to be doing in this video uh, is continuing building uh, what we were building in the last video, uh, which is my new fire station. And uh, if we head over here, you'll see that uh, I have made uh, one or two uh, new additions to the fire station. Uh, basically, all I've done is uh, finished off the roof. And it's kind of hard to see it because the roof's quite, uh, quite high. But you can kind of see there. It's uh, very simple. And I've also added just some, some pavement down here where the, uh, where the fire trucks are going to be, which we're going to be building later. But uh, before we build them, yep, uh, Lee looks like he's got the right idea. Uh, we're going to be building the inside. And then this is going to be uh, where the fire pole's going to be. And uh, it's also going to be uh, where there's going to be a um, 
uh, like an alarm system uh, so when there is a fire uh, someone can pull a, a lever or press a button and it's going to send a signal all the way over here and so we can uh, go and uh, jump to the rescue maybe there's going to be a cat stuck in a tree somewhere in my world <laughs> we can then go and run out and try and rescue them so uh, the floor is going to be one two three I think to here uh, this is going to be the first room and this room uh, is basically just going to be a room with a ladder in this is just the way you get into it so you're going to walk in here uh, there might be a little seat or some paintings around the place uh, it's basically going to be a ladder uh, just leading to the second floor and then in the second floor there's going to be just one big uh, open room uh, where there's going to be the alarm system and of course the the fireman's pole which we can use uh, to slide down if we need to go and rescue someone so uh, I think I'm going to do I'm going to do the floor up here blue as well I think I think if we go up maybe uh, one more then I can do the floor at this height like I don't want it to be too high uh, because when you go down the pole I don't want you to, to hurt yourself so uh, I guess if we do it around this level uh, this should be just about high enough yeah so then we're not going to be uh, too close to the the ceiling there and i think the uh, the ceiling above our heads now uh, i think i'm just going to do that white uh, just so it's a, a different color cuz i like the i like the the red and the blue uh, because it's kind of like the the lights that you get in an ambulance you know when you have the the siren going off as well uh, that's why i kind of like using these colors so let me go and build this along here and it's going to be right down here somewhere uh, where we're going to have the the fireman's pole and i'm going to leave a little gap down there uh, which is where the the trail of redstone is going to lead in uh, to get to here so uh, let me work out where the hole is i think the hole's going to be there and uh, yeah this is where the ladder's going to be uh, up along there and so uh, this room here is going to be all just one big open room so actually no i did that wrong i think i think if i get rid of that i might actually use my shears i think i did i do that in the wrong place uh, oh no that that was right that was right there oh no this this room's too small this room uh, needs to go out a little bit further and then i'm going to go and make the the ladders and the fences and then we can do the the way up and down so that's supposed to go along to here and hello lee <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't go down yet. We need a we need a pole. All right, let me go and fill all of this in here. And then I'll leave that hole up there. And let me go outside where I believe I have a crafting table. See, look, I'm being good. I'm not making a million crafting tables. I'm using the one I already have. And so let's make loads of sticks, shall we? And then I can make a few ladders and uh, some fences as well for the, the pole. And I can go and put these in. And then that way, uh, we're going to be able to easily get up and down the stairs. And oh, no. Oh, no, you've just destroyed you've just destroyed my wall. I was just about to place a ladder on that. Let me go and try and build all of that back in there. And then I can do the, the ladder leading up like that. And then I'm going to put a few torches in here. Uh, just so I can see what it is I'm doing. Probably not the best idea to build the inside of the fire station out of wool and then add some flames inside. I don't think we're doing very good fire safety here, are we? I suppose if there is going to be a fire somewhere, the best place for it to be is probably the fire station because that's where the firemen already are. <laughs> and right, so I want this second room uh, next door. I think we're going to go and build a door through to there. And if I go and head in here, yeah, we do a door through to here, then this is where the pole's going to be. So this is going to be uh, the same size as the last room, I think. So it's going to go uh, like this, I think. And then that little gap there, uh, that's going to be where the, the redstone is going to go up. So if you go and uh, fill in the, the rest of the walls here, Lee, I'm going to go and hop upstairs and I'm going to go and try and start building the, the fireman's pole, I guess. So uh, I think it's going to be around about, if I do it here against there, maybe, or maybe right in the, the very middle of the room might look quite cool so let me go and uh, fill in that there and then let me go and hop down and try and build my way back up uh, to build the fireman's pole oh no actually and there needs to be room for us to fit down as well doesn't there uh, so if, if, if i do two bits like that and then if i go and hop down here is it going to let me build up? I think I need to go and place another block just so I can jump on top. It's very difficult to jump on top of fences, <laughs> as I'm proving. And I'm banging my head and all sorts. I guess if I just build it up a little bit, and then I can go uh, back upstairs here and uh, go and try and do it. Uh, from the other side here as well and then just go and try and build it all the way to the top and there we go we now have our fireman's pole so i can build that up to the oh no almost to the ceiling this will do for now <laughs> and then you can go on it and go wee and then you can go and slide down and you hurt yourself a little bit but it's <laughs> it's not too bad and there we go we've got a door as well do you wish you ever go on the fireman's pole lee are you ready let's go down together actually i'm gonna go out here and i'm gonna pretend there's a fire look oh no there's a fire on the pavement quickly fire fire there we go he's putting his fireman's helmet i got one 
one as well. <laughs> we go put on our fireman's helmet. Quickly, there's a fire. There's a fire. Quick, we need help. Quick, there we go. He's come down the pole <laughs> and got stuck on the door. There we go. He's got a bucket of water. Quick out here, Lee. Look at the ferocious fire. No, down here, Lee. Oh, <laughs> there we go. My hero. My hero. And oh, you got me all wet, though. <laughs> oh, dear. That is absolutely hilarious. I want to go down, uh, going down the pole. Oh, look. Looks like there's a creeper down there as well. I want to watch out for him. Okay, it's my turn to be the hero. I am going to be the firefighter this time. So, um, Lee, if you want to pretend, please pretend to start a fire. And I'm going to be sitting here and then pretend the alarm's going to go off. Dumpty dumpty dum. Fire! Go, 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 go! Whoop! Boo! Down I go and out the door. And oh no! No, no! I said pretend! I said pretend, Lee! I said pretend! This isn't pretending! This is real fire! This is real fire! Right, get the bucket! Get the bucket! Put it all out! Put it all out! Put it all out! Put it all out! Quick, 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 quick! No! I'm gonna set fire to the florist! <laughs> is it done? Is that all the fire out? There's one more little bit of fire there. I can't get to it. Use the fishing rod to put it out. There we go. I fished out the fire. <laughs> That's not pretend. Yeah, give that to me, Lee. You do not deserve to have that. Look! You've ruined everything! There's a small hole, Lee! You've put down a small hole! Everything's ruined now! <laughs> That's right, you sit in the hole and think about what you've done. That was actually a little bit terrifying there. There we go, though! I was the hero! I was the, the firefighter! Firefighter Stampy! <laughs> oh, that was really cool. That was good fun. Anyway, uh, let's go and build the, the actual fire trucks then, shall we? Uh, I think I'm gonna build- I'm gonna build one inside here, and then I think one outside here. Now, I guess I'll build the one on the, uh, on the inside first, I think. Um, right, so I need, uh, let me try and work this out. I think I need, I do black tires, I think. I think I need black wool for the, uh, the tires. And then I can, oh, okay. I don't think I've actually got any black wool on me. Do you have any black wool on you at all, Lee? Um... Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run over to the house and grab some black wool. Uh, so I need that for the for the uh, the wheels. And uh, then we can come back and build the uh, the two fire trucks. And wait a minute, why is... Why have I got a dog in the in the train? There's a dog up there as well. Why are, why are the dogs all on top of everything all of a sudden? Who is that? I can't even see who that is. Wait a minute. what What's that? That's Sherbet. But what's that? There's something in the sky. I think that... Is that another hot air balloon? Has someone else built a hot air balloon in my world? Oh, I can see a, a creeper down there as well. Let me go and get my sword out to, to deal with that creeper. Get back. I think I think that is. I think someone else has built a hot air balloon. I must say, I think mine looks rather pretty. Wait a minute. I think I know whose that might be. You don't think it is? The dogs on top of things and all growling. Red and black stripes. <gasps> you don't think that hit the targets built a hot air balloon, do you? Right. I am going to have to go and investigate this. I am going to have to go and see what's up. I got no time for you, Googlies. There's a bigger threat in my world than you right now. And oh no, and creepers, and creepers. I still need to worry about that. And whoa, <laughs> did you see that creeper fly? <laughs> I nearly sent him to orbit there. That's what I should do. I should try and hit uh, Googlies that uh, hit the target. I think that's what it might be. <gasps> oh no, okay. I knew he was going to come back. I knew he was going to come back at some point. And I said that I need to make sure that I'm ready for him. And I do feel ready. I feel ready to take out, hit the target uh, once and for all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up to him in my hot air balloon. And then I'm going to fight him in the skies and try and for once and for all uh, take him out. So I need to go and get some coal. And then if I go and put that in here... That should hopefully, yeah, start off the fire and I should be able to lift up my hot air balloon so then I can go and try and track down, hit the target and finally be able to take him out. And here we go. Looks like the hot air balloon is starting to rise and I'm not going to lie, I am feeling a little bit terrified right now. Hit the target might be up here and I knew he was going to attack me but I didn't know it was going to be today. Why couldn't it be tomorrow or the next day or even better, never? Okay, so I've arrived but I can't see any hit the target. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this, this isn't his hot air balloon. And what is that? What is that thing down there? There's something, there's something, is that a cage? <gasps> there's a dog in there. That's a dog in a cage. I think that might be Barnaby. <gasps> maybe it is hit the target. There it is. There's hit the target right there. <gasps> I think hit the target's been going around and trying to steal my dogs in that cage. Oh no. Right, this time hit the target is not escaping. There's nowhere for him to go. If he tries to fly away, I'm going to shoot down his hot air balloon. Right, let's try and get him if I can. Let's try and get him. Oh, oh, what's he doing? 
What's he doing? Oh, he's got a bow and arrow as well. Right, let's try and take him out. Of course, hit the target. Has a bow and arrow. No, I nearly ran off my own shit there. Right, I've got a little bit of cover from these poles. If I try and stay behind them, I might be able to shoot him. If only I wasn't the worst shot in the world. And oh no, that was so close. That nearly hit me off. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. I do not like this. I don't know. He hit me. He so nearly hit me off. I need to hide. I need to hide behind the poles. Come on, I need to try and hit him back. Oh no, I only hit his pole there. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? There we go. I was able to hit him that time. Let's try and stay back. If I can, what's he doing? Oh no, he's got like some automated arrow shooting system. Why does he always have one of them? Luckily, it's not getting anywhere close to me. This isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. Hit the target. I've got an idea. Stop. Stop shooting the arrows. Hit the target. How about we settle this like gentlemen? How about we stop shooting arrows, stop the cheating and the shenanigans, and let's have a fight man to cat? How about it? A gentleman's duel. Do you agree? Do you accept the challenge? Okay, he's accepted. Hopefully, he's going to be a man of his word. Okay, this is how this is going to work. Okay, and no sudden movements. I am going to build across to you. You build across to me. We meet in the middle, and then we have a gentleman's duel on the bridge. Okay, a gentleman's duel on the bridge. Okay, do you accept? Do you accept the challenge, okay? Right, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. I'm gonna start building across this way, and he's gonna start building across the other way. I'm scared he's gonna try and do something sneaky, uh, but to be honest, if I, I think if we carried on fighting the way we were, I think I was gonna go and get shot off, and this is gonna be finally my chance to take him out once and for all. And of course, he's building across with Neverak, isn't he? <laughs> right, let me try and build my way into the middle here, and this is very dangerous. Look how high up we are, and here we go with Met. Right, get back, get back, get back, hit the target the duel's not started yet. Get back. I'm not going to shoot. I just don't want you to do anything sneaky. Right, so this is going to work like this. I'm going to throw down my weapons down here. Look, I've thrown away my bow. I'm going to get my enchanted diamond sword and place that down here as well. I now have no weapons. I'm going to take off my stampy style boots and my helmet. I am now defenseless, okay? You need to do the same. Throw away your sword. Go and throw it over the edge. Let me see you do it. There we go. The sword has now fallen off. Fair is fair. We're going to meet in the middle and fight man to cat with no weapons, okay? Ready, steady, duel. Right, let's go. I need to be careful. I want to try and knock him off without him knocking me off. I don't know. He's got his bow. He's cheating. He's cheating. He's got his bow. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Oh, he's fallen down. He's fallen down. And whoa, what was that? Something just picked him up. What was that thing? Whoa, look at it go. I think that was the UFO. I think that was the UFO that my un uh, my lunar friends live in. <gasps> Do you think they came down? Why why did they save hit the target? Why would my lunar friends be trying to save my nemesis? Or were they trying to kidnap him? Are they trying to imprison him? Whose side are my lunar friends on? Do you remember the aliens that I met when I went to the moon? That was their UFO. I remember they've been down to my lovely world before. That was that was crazy. I was just about to finally take out hit the target then at the last minute Nothing other than a UFO came down to pick him up. <gasps> what do I do now then? Right. I know what I want to do. I want to burn down his hot air balloon. This evil contraption that he made to steal my dogs. And I need to save Barnaby as well. Right, let's... Um, oh yeah, there we go. I got the, uh, the flint and steel that Lee gave me earlier. Let me go and try and set fire to as much of this as I can. And then I'm going to go and burn it all down to the ground. If I jump up here and set fire to all the way around here. And hopefully this is going to spread. There we go, through the entire balloon. And I should, I should probably get out of it. Oh no, there's googlies in it. <laughs> He's powered his hot air balloon with googlies. I need to get out of here. I'm on a... I'm on a burning hot air balloon. This is dangerous. Right, Barnaby, I'm coming to save you. If I jump down, whoop, there we go. That wasn't the most elegant landing, but I got to him. Barnaby, don't worry. I'm going to come and save you. I'm going to get you out of here. Right, I need to dig down before the fire spreads. Barnaby, it's me, boy. You're safe. It's not hit the target. Are you okay, Barnaby? He looks okay. It looks like he's not been hurt. Are you doing good, boy? Here, have some, have some, have some steak. You can have this. You must be hungry. And uh, it's okay. I'm here to save you. And, um... I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to save you. I think I've kind of just trapped myself in the same cage as you. I think there's only one thing for it, Barnaby. I think there's only one way out of here. I think we're going to have to jump, okay? Do you trust me, boy? Do you trust me? Of course you trust me. Of course you do. Right, are you ready? On the count of three. Three, two, one. Jump! <laughs> 
There we go. We made it to the surface. Watch out though, Barnaby. There's googlies all over the place. And look, there's another dog there waiting down to greet him. We need to get out of here. We're not safe yet. There's still googlies everywhere. Quick dog, quick dogs, quick dogs. Come over this way. I don't even know who else there is. Why are there googlies everywhere? I think hit the target might have been commanding them. I think they all fell down off hit the target's balloon. And oh no, get out of here. Get out of here. Go on, you get them, Barnaby. And I think that as Duncan's here as well. Duncan came down to say hello. Good boy, Duncan. Right, let's take out all of the googlies then, shall we? Let's go and shoot them from here. You can all stay out of my well, just like hit the target. Take out the zombie and the skeleton and the creeper over there. <laughs> oh dear, this is quite good fun, actually. It's like target practice shooting all the googlies. And look, there's a tricky target up there. Can I take him out? If only I did as well shooting hit the target as I was shooting these. Actually, I'm not doing too great, am I? There we go. I was finally able to hit him. Managed to take him out. And let's take out the zombie and the final skeleton. Easy peasy. <gasps> Well, that was rather dramatic, wasn't it? So that's why all my dogs have been so grumpy and why they keep ending up on top of things. Hit the target was flying around in a hot air balloon and trying to steal them. Is there no end to his crazy ideas for trying to ruin my day and steal my dogs? And even though I wasn't able to take him out, my lovely world is still safe for another day and my dogs can hopefully uh, spend the rest few of the, uh, the few days in peace uh, until he tries to attack me again. But I need to find out what's going on. I need to find out why, why did the aliens try to save hit the target? So I guess we're going to find out in a future video. Sadly for now though, uh, we have just about run out of time in this one. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it and I will see you in my next episode. Whew. Bye!